friends, my name is Rebecca Hedlund and I welcome you to the Threshold of Honors. Today I want to talk about the ministry of angels. You know, as a believer in Christ, God has assigned angels to you. Every believer has an angel assigned to them. Even children have their angels and God expects us to work in agreement with our angels and what happens to us as believers when we start living in sin how do you think your angel feels when you commit sin <laughs> so sometimes our angels are turning their back against us when we are doing what is wrong they are in amazement and wondering why we are making such decisions as believers and so God has given us angels we need to learn to be in agreement with our angels and then send them on errands because they are ministering spirits sent to minister to those who shall be heir of salvation they are there to work for us you know, just like you have maids in your house there are some wealthy people who have maids and then they send these maids on errands god expects us to tell our angels to assign some tasks to our angels they are there to work for us it goes beyond just protecting us and so what happens to a believer that who backslides when a believer backslides the angel stays for a while but if the believer continues in that downward movement gets to a point where the angel leaves and then this believer has an open door for demons to come over to torment that believer and what happens when this believer repents this angel returns as a result of your repentance and so that's why God expects us to be hot, not lukewarm. He doesn't want us to be lukewarm. You're either hot or cold. So God wants us to work with our angels. God wants us to acknowledge their presence and also to send them on assignments for us. And as we pray, our angels are strengthened. As we worship God, they are happy. As we engage in the right conversation, they are happy. As we do things that are conducive, that makes the atmosphere conducive for them. But when we are angry, we are bitter, we are causing commotion, yelling, shouting, the angels are not happy about this when we are engaged in the wrong conversation the angels are not happy about this when we talk about God's word when we motivate others the angels of the Lord rejoice when we lead people to Christ they rejoice about that which we are accomplishing for the Lord so beside the fact that we have the Holy Spirit within us the Holy Spirit in us is stared as we pray and this ushers in angelic presence and sometimes we have more angels than just one some people have one but sometimes as we worship and fellowship more angels come and they rejoice because God's presence is just active around us so as believers we must be conscious of our lifestyle we must work out our salvation with fear and trembling you know when a believer decides to involve in fornication in some kind of lustful sexual sin you can imagine what your angel is going through at that point you're putting them in an uncomfortable situation because you are doing something that is contrary to God's word and so this angel turns their back against you so we must be conscious 
because we have this ministering spirits sent by God to be there for us to protect us to help us as we work for the Lord and I pray that as we are sensitive to the things of the Spirit that the Lord will continue to elevate us and bless us and give us more spiritual gifts in Jesus name thank you for listening God bless you bye bye